Well, Terrell, I have been speaking to people who live inside this apartment building. They tell me that the building owner was taken into custody. They say trash has been piling up here for some time and that they had the feeling something just wasn't right. Last night, authorities removed a freezer from this garage behind a multi-unit apartment building in the city's Cragen neighborhood. A source tells Eyewitness News the body of a 96-year-old woman was inside. Hector Yanez lives on the top floor with his family. He says police arrested his landlord, who lives below him. They broke the, she didn't want to open, so they broke the door to get in. And there's a lot of stuff in the apartment that they cannot even walk inside. Yanez says his landlord had been living in the first floor unit for years with her elderly mother, who was sick. He says police were there yesterday responding to a call from out of state. When I came downstairs, they told me that they was looking for the owner because they received a call from out of state saying that there was somebody reported that an old lady probably died and she never buried her. Neighbors say the building owner was telling residents different stories about the whereabouts of her mother. The people who live in the basement, they say that uh, her, her mom died. They knew that she was dead. So when I asked the owner for her mom, she said that she was in a nursery home in Wisconsin. Residents say the woman who owns the three-unit building in the 5500 block of West Melrose has been collecting trash and that it's been piling up in and around the building. And they say no one had access to the garage. Nobody. Nobody. She used to rent the garage to one of the people in the basement, but after a while, she didn't rent them the garage no more. When was that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like uh, three years, probably. So far, police are calling this a death investigation. Investigators have not said if any foul play is involved, and so far, no one has been charged with any crime. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.